All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women, how many ever people is uh, are listening and watching season three of three. For the Most Part podcast? Mm-hmm. Three. You would have seen, yeah, three whole seasons. You would have three seen whole. that we had a, a discussion the last episode with Mr. Simeon Sandiford and his team and the Healer Land concert and this week we have Dr. Dennis Howard and he's all the way from Jamaica so obviously we're doing this thing virtual we have him on Zoom yeah Dennis thank you for joining us yes, and obviously so in the room Miss Louise Clark she is Hi. our resident writer slash co-host at times so let's yeah. let's get this let's get this show on the road so Dennis what what was the thing that pushed you to start that show Echoes in the Bones uh, well I I started a, a, a digital media company called Rhythm Force Media Company right and, and part of that 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 company would I have a red a digital a, a online radio station and I have an online entertainment magazine and so and and of course a YouTube channel mm. and so I I said what better way to to put out a lot of material that I had before and also conversations that I was having on an ongoing basis uh, 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 in, in terms, well, on an, uh, in, in, a, in a podcast. So yeah, right. That's how it started. Now, you want to know how the name Echoes in the Bones come? Yes. Now, in my research, um, I my, my dissertation for my PhD was, was called, I can't remember, uh, music production, popular music production in Kingston and it's between uh what 1954 to 2004 I think right and, and, I, and it was called creative genius this not this DY DIS functional institutional framework so right. what 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 the premise of the art uh, the the the, the, the the, the study is to, is saying that we are brilliant at creativity, but we are all messed up when it comes to the infrastructure and the institutional framework to make us uh, make the kind of money that we are supposed to, to make. Right, and right. It's a Caribbean thing, not a Jamaican. Yes, it is. It is but, a Caribbean. Yeah, but it is not about us alone. It is the kind of system that we were. Uh, that we existed and that we came out of. So the, right. the, it, it, it's almost like a, 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 a looking at it from a perspective of a decolonial kind of, of, of perspective to say, hey, despite all of this dysfunction, we are brilliant. And right. not only creatively, but we have, have de- developed uh, business practices that are also unique and brilliant despite the fact that we look down upon them and despite they are rejected at first by the global north and then all of a sudden they start copy it and take it for themselves and because they have the money and they have the, the structure they do it better than us and so it is saying that we need to basically look at what we have and value it right. codify it and, 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 and get it Get it to the point that we can make the money out of it. So I came up with a with a with a what I call a theoretical framework. But it's not a theoretical framework in the in the in the in the, the usual way. Yeah, it is yeah. theory, but it's also praxis. So I I, I came up with this thing called uh, use uh, uh, working with people, uh, extending the work of people like Paul Gilroy. And, 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 and an associate of mine called Louis Shudashoke, 
I came up with a with a, with a with a and also Alanda Patterson. I I came up with a with a theory of the creative echo chamber. Mm. And so I am saying within this creative echo chamber, it is also it is not only a theory and a principle, but it's also a physical living being and, mm. and space. And 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 it and basically using Black Atlantic theory, it says that everything or a lot of what we have comes from Africa. It comes from Africa through the South America, the Caribbean, then some of it go up to North America. But through migration, some of what we we created and mix up in in in, in the Caribbean goes to goes to North America and vice versa. Some of the stuff that they created in North America come down to to to, to the Caribbean. So for instance, Caribbean music was very influential in the music of New Orleans, right. which yes. created jazz. Yes. yes. <laughs> jazz was influential in creating ska. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And 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 R and B was instrumental in creating rock steady music. Then reggae music and and sound system culture and dub culture helped to create rap music. Yep. So it was this this damn this damn what we call borderless creative cauldron, mm-hmm. meaning places like New York, New Orleans, Havana, mm-hmm. Port of Spain, yes. Port of Spain, uh, Bridgetown. Everybody influencing everybody, everybody because remember, Calypsonians came up to Jamaica before we had reggae and scale. Right, right. And right, so right. Lord Creator was there. Uh, people like Kitch, a lot of people don't know the great Kitch, lived in Jamaica for a long time. And and Whoa. people, yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> yeah. People, and people like Lord oh, Creator, people uh-huh. like Lord Laro, and, and people like La uh, uh, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a Calypsonian musician at first, but became a, one of the the, the, the most in, instrumental musicians in rock steady and, uh-huh. and and reggae. I can't remember him name now. I soon come back to him. Right. But, but but the point is what 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 we are, what we are in, in is this creative echo chamber, mm-hmm. and 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 a part of the creative echo chamber it is built upon. On, on on three pillars repetition geospatiality and communality mm. so the, i was just explaining the geospatiality where everybody in this creative echo chamber through migration to technology influencing each other right and right. now the, the, the repetition is that because we are from an african foundation repetition is big in, in african cosmology okay. and music yeah. and we, but we don't repeat we don't repeat for repetition sake we every time we repeat we make it new so yes. we never play so we never same play twice, yeah. on the same way yeah you understand yeah. yeah it's like in calypso the same thing the pan man them don't play the music the same, same way, way every time yeah Book the sharp now go play the same thing the same way and play it a different way always that it's the same music the same thing with us as even our engineers. If we're engineering with engineering a dub, if we if we engineered, if we did a dub mix, no. The next minute when we do the dub mix is a totally different thing. Although it's the same song and the same principles that we're using. So repetition is always important. And so that's why we reuse rhythms. And we know so Trinidad doing the same thing as Jamaicans. And and so that that is the repetition, and and we love we love we love because of our passion for repetition, we do things like wheel and come again, mm, and yes. so rewind. That's another type of of repetition. So so that's and then the final one now is communality, where we we don't see the creation of our art as ours. We are not yep. individual creative genius. We are one. So if I write a song, it don't belong to me. It belongs to the community. Mm. And if I have some skills, I am not going to keep those skills to myself. I'm going to teach as much people as I can. 
And so we're always sharing ideas, we're sharing skills, and that it is that community. Because we we are naturally in a circle. The Ubuntu pr- pr- principle of African of, of yeah. folk philosophy is what we do in the Caribbean. I would do it in the region, despite we love to talk about that we are we are separate and Trini don't like Jamaican and Jamaican don't like Trini. <laughs> and Asian don't like. It is it is it is it's, it's bullshit, really. Because yeah. we have while we say one thing politically, culturally, we have been doing something totally different. Yeah. There are Asians that have been influential in Jamaican music. They are Trinidadians that is that that are that are instrumental in Jamaican music. Mm-hmm. They are Jamaicans that have influenced soca music and calypso music. Yep. Oh yes. Yes. You, you, you get me? Mm-hmm. So while we're talking all of this BS about oh the difference with it so in culturally and all kind of thing and peas and rice and rice and peas <laughs> and 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 ginep and aki and all of these. We, we are basically the same thing, yep. uh, despite, despite all of that. And so we say one thing, but we really do something but totally yes. different. Yeah. Which, and so that is part of So it, it is a, a community as in terms of a region, but it's also a community within the, the, the different islands. And so I draw from people like, uh, uh, he, he did a book called The Repeating Islands. Uh, Oh God, his, his name slipped me right now. Mm. So two names after remember. Uh, he, he talk about the repeating island. I know all the islands of the Caribbean is a Cuban color. Um, all the islands of the... Antonio Benitez. Ah. ah, thank you, thank you. When you study thank a you. thing, you <laughs> yeah. yeah. was good for yeah. something, Ant. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so that's that's what that's a, that a long winded way to tell you why I come up with the echoes in the bone. So yeah. guess what? Nice. The echoes in the so 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 there is a there is a there is a a, a, a book by Carolyn Cooper, Professor Carolyn Cooper, what, that she talks about noises in the blood. So noises in the blood is consistent with the creative echo chamber and the Black Atlantic, meaning right. that the memory, the ancestral memory is in our blood. That's why we can dance, that's why we can sing, that's why we're so creative, that's why we're so fierce. So, uh, but it, was, it wasn't it was her original uh, words. She mm-hmm. took it from a poet called Vickery, who, who had a poem that he said, then it comes from the noises in the blood, the noise in the blood, and the echoes in the bones. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so I, I I I adopted the, the the noises in the blood because I it, it, it describes what we do so well. But when I read the poem, it, it, it was not only the noises in the blood, but the echoes in the bone. Oh, so right. to, to reinforce the point of that ancestral memory. So because of my echo chamber and my creative echo chamber, so it was as natural for me to call the, the name of the, the, the podcast Echoes in the Bones. I have a radio show that is called Echoes. So I'm, 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 I'm invested in Echoes. Right. Um, right. Tell us very quickly, um, what station does your radio show air on? Um, is it available to listen to outside of Jamaica, perhaps? Yeah, man. So it's on a digital. Uh, it used to be on. It used to be on on uh, a, a, a free to air station called Music Ninety Nine. I was the general manager for the, for the for the radio for for about five radio stations in the RJR Gleaner Group. So I had that sh- this show on on Music 99. Right. But I, I, I moved from the, the general managership to the back to the board, and then I resigned from the board, and then I, I, I moved the program to my radio station, which is called Rhythm One Radio, which is an online radio station. So you can yeah. find it, rhythmoneradio.com. And, and we will and link it. Echoes, yeah, yeah. And, and, the, and the Echoes show comes on on a Thursday, at 7 EST time. 
uh, no, seven e six EST time, uh, seven DST time. So, uh, and it repeats on a Sunday. Right. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Well, nice. we will link all of those um, in the description for this episode. So yeah. my my second yeah. question yeah. is: so how? So we we spoke about how you started the podcast. Now I want to talk about how the creatives have been surviving per se. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it. Um, what's the energy, the spirit, the the the, the vibe? Yeah the shift been pre-pandemic yeah. to now yeah well the, it, it's mixed some people okay. have gone silent and some have, have decided that hey pandemic or no can pandemic i have to survive even right. if i if even if it's just about being 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 current and relevant still and so some people have taken to social media and the internet to come up with, with innovative ways of keeping current. Let's give you an example. There is Wayne Marshall and Tammy Chin. Yeah. Tammy yeah. Chin is yeah. a singer. Wayne Marshall is a singer. But during the during the pandemic, they, they started a podcast and they started uh, a, a basically like a, 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 a show on IG. So they are heavily invested in doing content on mm. On, right. on on Instagram right. and uh, what the other one name? Facebook. What the other, no man, the other popular one now. Snapchat uh, or TikTok. On oh, Snapchat. Oh Lord, why are you forgetting? TikTok. 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 Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> yeah, TikTok. TikTok. So so that's that's one one direction. A few of people have, have tried the 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 online concert, but I don't think it has really taken off the right. way. Right. Yes. Uh, Trinidad has a wanted. similar Trinidad yeah. has a similar issue. People have tried online concepts and I'm not just talking about from one specific genre, I'm talking about many different genres. People Chance, have yeah. tried online concerts in Trinidad, but yeah. um, um, unless unless your main audience is outside of the Caribbean, Trinidadians probably will not want to pay to attend yeah. Yeah. online concerts. So I guess um, I, I guess that isn't something that works in the Caribbean yeah. very well. Yeah. So take for instance Reggae Sum Fest that did a, a virtual concert last yeah. year and even got Facebook and Instagram to be a part of it and mm -hmm. Facebook and Instagram even did some presentation in terms of utilizing the platforms to, to promote music which was very good. Right. And, and they, they did the show, they got good numbers, but they're not doing it this year. Hmm. You know? Wow. And, and and a couple of persons, there was there was going to be the, the, the rebirth of Sting, which is the big dance hall yes. show. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. That, that, that never happened. Ooh. And so, so, so the, the verdict is out on the, the, the virtual concerts. Right. Some people, but a big, a big thing for a lot, especially the veteran artists, they have been earning steadily because of the doublet economy. Okay. Which uh, different sounds from all over the world would still want doublets. Either nice. to, and, and, and DJs would want specials. Not only to, 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 to do sound clashes or to play, because in those regions also there are lockdowns and restrictions, but just to play on their radio station. Yes. And, yeah. and, and there's a plethora of, of internet radio stations now. And I, I think that's where the future is in terms of radio broadcasting. Right. And, and so you do, that's the way a lot of the, the artists are continuing to, to, to earn to some survive. money. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The government say, just to, yeah, I was about to ask if the government had any major um, decisions where that was concerned, if it had any major repercussions. Well, the they, they shut, when they shut down the, 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 the country and then entertainment got, got knocked, uh, most of the people understood, but after a while, people got restive and, right. and was was kind of encouraging the government to do something. The government, I, did, I think, did spend 
some some funds to support the industry, but mm. that was not uh, that was not very effective because I don't think it was done the right way or they didn't invest the amount of money that was necessary to make right. it worthwhile. So that was that. So, so after a while, because the, sorry, come again. Sorry, is it that this these funds that that were funneled by the government is it that it was given in maybe a grant to help artists get by you know meet you know meet their necessities like food and shelter yeah that yeah was it that, more or, or was it or, okay so but did they invest any funding in perhaps um setting up artists and other creators to try to function virtually or was no. it oh so so this funding, there's more a grant Mm. Okay, so, yeah, so the funding was yeah. mostly in yeah. the form of grants. Yeah. I see. Uh, and it, was, and, and and it was minimal. It was minimal also. Minimal. Mm-hmm. It was the same yeah. situation here in Trinidad where we, it was a, a one-time thing, I think. The yeah, grants so were from like May to, day, May to like August, I think, and then they would try to extend yeah. it. And I have no idea what's going on now. I've heard that yeah. people did get grants uh, my last yes, number was what 300 some... and something Just yeah all, yeah around so that's, there. that's not bad that, that's not bad but when you consider that there are at least i'm tempted to say 10 to 15 times more musicians yeah than just those 300 grants not musicians artists in general yeah in Trinidad and Tobago so I guess I, I guess both Jamaica and Trinidad are, are very similar in, the, in yeah. that regard. Yeah, yeah. And it, and, it, and it boils down to you know, mm-hmm. so a lot of people were exempted from that because they mm-hmm. are not they are not as prominent or well known by the authorities and mm-hmm. everybody else. That's mm-hmm. that's that's another issue. And then the problem with Jamaica, you know, is that everybody is a is a, is a creative. You know? Yes, yes, more, yes, yes. You have more selectors than anything else. You have more dancers than anything else. You have more DJs. You have more singers. You have more musicians because mm-hmm. people are yeah. trained in all kind of different ways. Same. Right. A, 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 a place where a, a institution that trains a lot of Jamaicans and, and probably don't even get the kind of recognition that it should is a church. Almost right. the church yeah. of a yeah. choir. Yeah. Every church have a, have a band leader or a musical director, and they are serious at training yeah. the, 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 the congregation or the young people in the church. And a lot of them, after that training and exposure, a lot of them transfer into the secular world to, to play music. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you know that gospel music is, is vibrant in, in Jamaica. Very, right. yeah. 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 We have many gospel stars. You know, and 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 so, um, it is it, it is kind of really difficult to to capture all of the players in when you're doing a grant like that. And so, I found it was very ineffective mm. in terms of alleviating any, any any kind of stress. So that that was the response. Most people tried to pivot. Right. Some some succeeded more than some, and some just really got sideline and 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 i'm and i'm predicting that a lot of the people who are in the industry at at various levels will not survive and will have to try and do something else else. Hmm, that's unfortunate so what would you say would be a thing that people would think about both the government and that people in in jamaica and maybe by extension the caribbean can do to I can't say we 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 can't solve this problem because it's technically solved um, by one virtue: the vaccination process is already kicked off in some countries. So at some point, something is going to have to happen. Either things open back up publicly, or whatever the case may be. But what outside of that, what we'll say is a thing that everyone can do to help push the artists up a little more now as i say we're not really trying to solve the problem because i think it's it's we're getting to that point but i don't know any of you which whoever have a thought because i feel like we have an answer right here but (laughs) you know it 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 it, we just need to 
to dig it out a little bit. Who first? Who first? Who take take a pick? Pull up your hand. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. So listen, mm-hmm. the, the issue is that I don't think the Caribbean takes creative, and the creative industry is very serious. Here come right. don't. They don't. We, we can agree. But they don't. This. They don't. And and it's part of the colonial legacy that that haunts us. Yeah. We are still we are still colonials, despite the fact that Trinidad is a republic for for a long time. Enough kudos for them, for you guys, for that. But uh, Trinidad still have a colonial mentality. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, yeah. Jamaica is a colonial state, as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Barbados, same thing. Although they are now saying that they are moving away. Yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah when, but they haven't moved yet. They haven't moved yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, moved yeah, yet. yeah. And and so the, 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 despite the fact that oh the 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 the, 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 the I won't call it the motherland. I don't ascribe to those terms. Mm. The, our colonizers, despite despite our colonizers realizing in the in the in the in the heights of their neoliberal transformation under Margaret Thatcher. And then when John Major come in and then I think it was uh, the other prime minister, they started to look at the creative industries and coined the word the creative industries, defined it and 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 put a, a value to it because they wanted to shift arts and culture from being grant funded to being investment oriented and having a, v- a big economic value and not just a prestigious cultural uh, importance. Right. And, and so while they have shifted and put money into into it in a very serious way, not that they weren't doing that before, but they really concentrated their efforts. We have not made that shift. We see arts and culture as minstrel, minstrelry. Yep. Still in the sand and buffoonery. Despite the fact that car- carnival is strong, despite the fact that that pan is 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 one of the greatest inventions yep. in terms of, of since it, in the last two centuries. Mm-hmm. Despite yes. the greatness of reggae music, despite the brilliance of kitsch, despite the brilliance of Sparrow, despite the brilliance of of of, of Bob Marley, mm-hmm. Bujabantan, all of them, we still don't take it too serious and the thing is also that the industry itself don't take it too serious yes, because yep. they are not into institutional building they are into the stardom celebrity part of the business so while a Marshall montano have in business thing part from long long time we can't say that about a lot of them yeah while sean ball have good management and organization okay. But the thing Some is, of the greatest talent is a waste of time where that is concerned. Mm. And, and so, that's the thing, and that's the uh, thing is, Marshall, if I yeah. make a point, Marshall had the advantage of having um, parents who um, they knew what they were doing in terms yeah. of guiding his career, having that business it's mind. Mind, yep. Yeah, he, he his parents. And and, well, and I know Marshall. you don't want to say. I don't. You know you don't want to say. They were also educated. <laughs> they were also educated and trained. <laughs> um, um, I didn't. Hey, doctor, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't going there. All I was saying was that his parents had that. They, they, they had an understanding of the business side of things. Yeah. And, and, and they, they understood the music industry well enough to, to ensure well enough. things that yeah he could take over on his yeah. own. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So well, obviously so, he navigates his things on his own, but at the end of the day, it was yeah. his parents, you know, yeah. not, and, not and, every and, and, artist has and, the advantage of having yeah. someone in their corner to look mm. at everything with a, with a fresh set of eyes. Yeah. 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 So, so the, those, those kind of attitude from the, the industry itself and from the government, that is where the problem is. So I am not interested in any fix for yes. the COVID. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. interested in a fix for our culture and on our industry. We should 
I know Trinidad, uh, kudos to you guys on have a cultural policy. But we do have a cultural policy. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. We have not had a, 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 a updated cultural policy in the last 20 years. Now, uh, every year, I we hear about a cultural policy. And and, and we, our boast about being a cultural super state, yet we right. don't have a policy to guide it. Yeah. You know? So, so I want to fix for that. Yeah. where we start realizing that we need to train people we need to to create situations that they can that they can flourish we need to spend a ton load of money not no little uh what you call it uh, a drop in the bucket type of money we yeah. need to start some real money on investing because the return on investment is going to be tremendous. tremendous. Yep. Because yep. We see the potential. We see what will happen. In Canada, in France, in the United States, they fund. In Sweden, they fund yeah. their yeah. creative. They yeah. fund their creative. They create creative. They create they create they create, they create creative hubs. Yeah. They 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 have different grants to give people developmental grants. Mm -hmm. You can get money to do a video. You can get money to 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 build your organization. Give it capacity. Give it, yeah. money. More, importantly, give it money. more importantly, there yeah. is an encouragement to get people formal training in the Absolutely. Countries. Yeah. There is encouragement to so, so, so it isn't just a matter of encouraging, you know, building things and infrastructure to record and perform. No, there's also heavy emphasis on you can make a career out of this. So therefore you can, yeah. you, you can seek formal education in this field. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think, I think that piece of it also needs to be an important part of a quote unquote cultural, what was the term that you used? Cultural policy. Um, policy. Policy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I. I. I, 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 I think that one of, and I and I guess I could only comment based on my experience. Um, I guess yes, the cultural policy has worked, but to an extent, because if yeah. if that has worked, then musicians like myself would not have been. We st I still wouldn't have to be charging people $500 alone because nobody wants to pay the $500 for a show. And my value is actually like $3,000 because I spent $5,000 in UE studying to do the very thing you want to pay me do. You know what I mean? Now, again, I, th I think, yes, the, the policy has been of benefit where when things go bad, we have access to the grant. So that's great. We have rules and regulations so like cut they they, they we're, we're trying but as as you rightly said yes, dr I'll howard try. we we stuck in that colonial mentality yeah. I, I i and i could see it where we say the masters are still in charge at what a distance what surprises me what surprises me dr howard is that i mean yes kemi and i can boast that Trinidad does have a very a, a, a very dense, meaningful um, set of artists and art forms, and you know, but Jamaica, I would say, is like leaps and bounds ahead of us mm -hmm. in terms of reach. In, in, in terms of reach, in terms of influence. Yeah. So it really surprises me that a country like Jamaica, which gave us, who gave us Peter Tosh. I'm not going to say give us Bob Marley. I'm going to say give us Peter Tosh. Yeah. Okay? There would be no Bob Marley if there were no Peter Tosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just surprises me that a country like Jamaica, who has given the world so much, has no formal cultural policy. I find that very surprising. Um, yeah. Because, and, and I'm not just speaking about reggae, um, all of the Jamaican music students I met at UWE, all of them were trained in church and they all came. How do I put this? How do I put this in a nice way? Mm. Um, no. Okay, let me not say it in a nice way. Let me just say that if, if you saw a Jamaican classmate in your class, you knew, you knew to yourself that that person was going to be your competition because all of the Jamaican musicians that I ever studied with at UE, 
they were all they they all had solid solid yep. yeah. chops. solid Ch- chops knowledge solid. skill mm-hmm. every like mm-hmm. you can you, up, you like, can sit at the table Oh, no, and no, have no, a conversation no. because it would no. have been a comment for every comment that you put and that's not a bad thing that's yeah, a good thing that's a good yeah. thing they were re- like seriously so yeah. it, it, it's really heartbreaking it's yeah. really heartbreaking you'll produce some of the best in the Caribbean yeah you'll have a wonderful choral tradition yeah I don't understand why there is though um, because, oh, because 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 as 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 uh, Orlando Patterson calls it Jamaica is a confounding island. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It it just defies logic. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we yeah, find yeah. A way, we find a way to to do things and to be world leaders without the kind of assistance and and direction from from the state. Yeah. And 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 and, and, and it, sometimes it confounds me too. You know, it it is it is this 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 kind of ambivalence. Yeah. You know, that 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 is part of the the Jamaican psyche, where we think we are the greatest thing in the damn world. Believe that or not. Yeah. We think that we are comparable to 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 civilization states. And nation states like the United States, you know, that's only we don't compare ourselves to Trinidad and Tobago. Eh? No, you don't. We need compare, to we, com- we, no, we compare ourselves to Australia. Yeah. Eh? And, yeah. And so I say, I say it is our superpower, but it's also our kryptonite. Yeah. Because, because yeah. sometimes that 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 kind of superpower goes to the realm of 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 it, illogical. Uh, 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 illogic. It, it becomes illogical, and it becomes like a, a fantasy because we think we're bigger than we, 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 that we are. Yeah. And so I, I applaud the fact that we we have that superpower, but we also have to have some kind of balance where we say, listen, let us not go to the extent to make certain comparisons with what is happening in the developed white world. I yeah, have to yeah. put that part in it. White world, and try to believe that we will get an easy road to do the same things that white people in these white societies can do. We yeah. are our great comes from the kind of a breaking down those barriers and gatekeepers that would want to keep us out, mm-hmm. and that that is just because of that tenacity that that repetitious kind of, of of attitude that we took from from Africa uh with us that that allows that so I don't want us to stop but I want us to be practical and I want us to be more cerebral and analytical and critical in our our approach to yeah. to conquering the world because yeah. we can conquer the Caribbean the Car- listen I don't know if, if if a lot of people, and I'm sure you guys understand this and know this, that the Caribbean is as important to the world as anywhere that is important. Yeah. <laughs> and, it yep. is, and, and it is and it is and it is the foundation and almost the breadbasket for a lot of things, a lot of things that it that comes out of the Caribbean. They need us. We believe that we need them, and mm. and they don't need us. They need us. Mm. They need the Caribbean. The spirit of the Caribbean is 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 is. If, if, if you never had the Asian Revolution, you would have the French Revolution. True. No. Uh, no. Uh, you understand? Would you have revolutionary at uh, movements all over the place if we never have something like the Asian Revolution? True. Would, would you have certain music if you never if we never created it in the Caribbean? Yeah. yeah. Remember one time Calypso was going to take over from a rock and roll in the fifties, you know? That yeah. is how it you know. And sometimes I don't I don't think Trinidadians remember that the first music from the Caribbean to to make an impact in North America was Calypso. Calypso. Yep. Yes. 
Japan. In fact, yeah. it was at the top of the charts, especially in the European countries as well. And people don't know that. If you go Is out it? there and you sing a kitsch song, they're going to sing it back to you. <laughs> you know, the first, the first, the first million seller was 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 Jamaican mental music and folk music in America. The first individual person to sell a million is a Jamaican and singing Jamaican music. Yeah. Although yeah. Him, when they call him, when they used to call him the, 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 the Calypso King, he used to say, no, I'm not a Calypso singer. But it's Arabella Fonte, you know? Mm -hmm. So the, the thing is that we need to start coming together and I'm telling you, we are coming together because the music and the culture is one. I tell people, I, 10 years ago, I saw something when I went to, to, to the Eastern Caribbean. When I come to Trinidad, when I go to Barbados, especially when I go to, 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 to Guyana. And I'm finding that the speech pattern changing, mm -hmm. slowly changing. When I have an accent, but you know, after a while, everyone will talk the same way. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. That is correct. Yep. I don't know the difference. Well, certainly we are Jamaicans and Antiguans. The first time I got to Antigua, you know, a guy said to me, say, Hey, Rasta, you have any tape? It was the days of cassette. You have any dance cassette? <laughs> so I said to him, So how long you don't? How long are you here? He said, What do you mean how long I'm here? I said, You're not a Jamaican. I said, No, I've never been to Jamaica. So I said, You sound, so you know, sound. Wow. <laughs> that was that was a long time ago. That was like about uh, about fifteen years ago. Wow! But that is, and that was my first time in Antigua. Mm. So I I just never heard any difference. I I went to uh, Guyana like about a year ago, and I'm hardly hearing any difference in terms of the accent. Yeah. Because I was talking to people, and I think it's Jamaicans I talking to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I hear your Trinidad guys DJing and singing, and I think are Jamaicans. That's true because they, they they have acquired that um I, I don't want to say speech pattern but there's the influence they just repeating yes. it back yes because that actually Trinidadian DJs have you know have used like a Jamaican accent for decades now yeah for decades now it's not new it's a very old tradition yeah, yeah. but it's but, but, it, but it actually seems it actually seems to keep listenership. Yeah, and the thing is to, you know, hey, Destra a free girl. You know? Mm. Bungie Darling. Bungie Darling a Jamaican, as far as we concern. You know? <laughs> yeah. Marshall McDonough, I wanna we. That's how yeah. Jamaicans look at them. Uh, Skinny Fabulous, uh, where I come from, St. Vincent. Him, yeah, him, him, he, 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 was, he, he, he went to university at, at Mona. So him is Jamaican. The fact, the point I'm making, is that we are becoming one mm. more than excited and we are doing it through the culture and through technology right right yeah? right, right. And, and so and and i think if we if we, it, it was a it was a, a political disaster not to have federation but maybe it's more important to have a cultural unif unified caribbean right. than a politically unified yeah. caribbean Probably. I guess if culturally unified, then probably the the, the 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 political part of it will fall into place. Please, yeah, yeah, yeah. naturally. Yeah. And so I am, I am, I am, I am, I am for Caribbean unity, but first culturally. Right. Mean we must realize that we are not different. We are one. Right, 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 right. As I say, I've, 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 I love to say it is one damn music. So when we're talking about uh, that there is this manufactured conflict between soca and dance mm -hmm. or the the, 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 the the manufactured conflict between Afrobeat and dance so, or yeah. soca is rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Because it's, it's all the same. Yeah, it's all music. The same. Yep, it's all the same thing. All of it. It's all the same thing. Yes. And we all danced it the same way. <laughs> no, no, so, yeah. That's Right okay. along the hips. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We, we all we dance to each one the same way with the hips. Thank you. Exactly. All in the hips. 
yeah. So, Dennis, I have one last question for you before we wrap up because I think you 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 covered basically all of the questions without me having to actually ask all, and that's fantastic oh, yes. and amazing. Yes. Um, yes. what is one thing that you would want people to walk away with from this episode? Yes. Well, uh, the fact is that we are, we, what I w- want us to walk away with, our people to walk away with, is that the, the, the process is, is, is happening. We are an embodiment of this unity that, that is possible as Caribbean people mm-hmm. and realizing that we are the same. So we had a conversation today and uh, it was a, a like-minded people talking for the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and and this is not the the, 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 the end of this kind of co- co- conversation or discord with us. It's going to be ongoing. Yes. And so if we do it one person or in this case, uh, uh, three persons at a time, uh, the, the future looks promising despite all of the obstacles that we are about to face, despite the economic stress that we are under because we are still under this global neoliberal e- e- uh, economy, capitalism, that yeah. wants to remain poor so that they re- remain rich and we be the source of cheap labor Mm. And, and 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 they 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 allow us sometimes to come up there to do more free labor and cheap labor for them in in the various states in in America mm. and in England when they choose to. Uh, we need to realize that we need to stay right here and become the superpower that, that, we, yeah. be, that we are as a and it's not Trinidad and Tobago. And it's not Jamaica, and it's not St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's the one Caribbean yeah. country where we can unite to collectively. And if, and if you put it in the Spanish people, because we're not going to leave them out. Yeah, because true. They, are, yeah. they are a part of us too. The Belizean, yeah. the, 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 the Costa Ricans, the, the Panamanian, because a whole heap of Jamaican and Trinidadian influences down in those places. Yeah. You understand? And we're not leaving out the Haitians. Uh, we we'll probably can't leave out dumb rep, but I, I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, and, and of course, certainly Cuba. Yeah. We're a, we're a powerhouse. It's, it's a couple million people that, you know, it's over, it's over, it's, uh, it's close to about 40 million people that, you know, or more, you know. That's the size of the amount of people and, and neoliberal economics and capitalism. That's what they value. Numbers. And all them can exploit us, but we are, we need to come together and then start do and make them start pay us back. So reparation is a real thing. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this episode. Doctor Dennis Howard, thank you so much yes. for your knowledge, so for much for your, knowledge. your presence, and for this conversation because. Uh, the best way I could say it is that this is what I've been saying for some time now but he just said it like a hundred times better so uh-huh. we definitely will be linking all of the 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 online radio and everything where we could yes. probably contact you and that sort of stuff down in the description for this episode yes. Louise thank you so much for being here as well thank ladies you. and gents we will see you and we definitely will be hearing you in the next episode. Good guys. <laughs> <laughs>